All right, we're going to do a quick demonstration of the new DVR application that's been loaded to the tablets. Logging into the tablet has not changed. You still do the same process. Once you're ready to leave on your route, simply select the start. Once you go to the pre-trip screen, everything is the same here. You've got your truck number, your employee number, miles and hours. Very important that the miles and hours are accurate. So if there's been any change in that, you want to check that on your odometer and your hour meter. Update that as needed. If you've added any fuel, you can also input your fuel at this time. You'll notice at the bottom left of the screen, you'll see a pre-trip button. That button is has not been activated. You can tell that because it is not green yet. If you accidentally forget to touch that button and you select leave yard, there will be an attention screen that will pop up that will warn you that you forgot to touch on that button to do your DVR app. If you click OK, that will skip over the pre-trip DVR and you will not be able to complete that on the tablet. You'll have to re resort to a paper or DVR at that point. So in this case, I want to touch on cancel. That way I can go back and do my pre-trip in my tablet, which is a lot easier to do. Get started. Touch the pre-trip button. All right, the questions for the DVR have not changed. The verbiage is the same as on the paper. You'll notice that there is a, a red star to the left of some of the questions. The majority of them have that star. Those are mandatory questions that must be answered with a pass or a fail. There's also uh, an item down there that's a coupling devices. That item is not applicable to all trucks, so that's why there's not a star there. If you do have the item on your truck, then you'd want to answer that with a pass or a fail. You'll see two options for pass or fail, a Y or an N. A Y represents a check mark or a pass. An N represents an X, uh, as you were doing on the paper, or a fail. Anytime you answer with an N, that represents that you need to put a note for that item that there's a problem and that way it will go over to the garage. So that's an easy way to remember it. A Y is a pass, everything's good. An N is a fail. Uh, there's a problem, I need to add a note, in for note. So I'll go through and check my items off. And you can select them in any order that's needed. If there is a problem with the truck and you found a, a problem, for example, maybe my mirror bracket is a little loose, needs to be tightened up. If I select the end for a fail, I can touch on the screen and I can put in a note. And notice that there is a spell check. All right. All right. Once I get to this point, my I can also uh, scroll down. I'll see my tire pressures appear below these questions. To enter tire pressures, you tap the screen, which will pop up the box that allow you to enter your tire pressures. Notice the, uh, the pusher axles and the tag axles are pushed over to the right hand side whereas the most common tires are to the left. Makes it a little easier to locate the tires that I need to, to put in. Be sure and just tap on the tire items. You do not press and hold because if you press and hold an item like that it enters the notepad. You could enter a note there if the tires wore out or something like that. You can enter a note that the tires wore, but that's for a note not for the pressure. If you want to enter the pressure, just do a tap. When the box pops up, you can enter the pressure. The last one in the line is the right front tire. Once I get all the tires in, okay, am I pulling a trailer today? If I were pulling a trailer, I could tap on that, enter the trailer number. In this case, I'm not pulling a trailer. Since I'm not pulling a trailer, I do not need to answer the questions for trailer. Defects found? No defects found? Yes or no? Okay, is this a pass or a fail? Well, I did find that mirror problem, so I'm going to put a fail on that, hold the note down, and I can also put a note there.
And this is also a good place to type in any note that maybe doesn't uh, have a place to put it on the questions above, such as maybe a hydraulic leak. Make sure I got all my notes in there. Continue. If I topped off my fluids, I now have opportunity to put the quantity of fluids that I topped off. Some, some drivers are topping off fluids, such as motor oil, hydraulic oil. Others are not. If you do top off your fluid, you'd want to be sure and enter that there. Click and continue takes me to a review checklist screen where I can scroll through there and see, make sure I've got everything entered properly. And then once I've entered everything, then I can sign my name and save and submit. Once it's submitted, it gives me a message that it is good to go.